Hey guys, it's the Moxie Ram. It is 7.26 in the morning. I'm in the car, all packed up with my water, snacks, gonna stop for some coffee, and make that two and a half hour trip to Massachusetts for the Fiber Festival. Alright guys, after being on the road for about 2 hours and 15 minutes, I'm finally at the Fiber Festival in Massachusetts. Heading back to the car after walking around the Fiber Festival for about four hours. I did two loops around the entire show floor and bought a little more than I planned. But I think it's okay considering I drove a little over two hours for this. There are lots of vendors, lots of stuff to see. I tried to get as much footage inside as I could for you guys. There were a lot of vendors that didn't want me recording their stuff, which is totally fine. But I have a few clips, and then I will show you my haul. All right, I'm officially exhausted. Um, four hours of yarn, it was great. But uh, I'm done. I got the little stamp of approval to let me back into the building after I left. But after sitting here for a little bit, I don't think I'm gonna go back. I'm so tired and I, I just, I can't, and I can't spend any more money. <laughs> but I figured with this nice daylight and the fact that I'm by myself, so no interruptions, I would show you my haul. So, first up, and probably my favorite thing that I bought uh, the entire time, It's a Thor alpaca. I've got to straighten out his little wings here. But how cute is this? <laughs> oh gosh, this is a little gift to myself because I saw it and I just couldn't resist. So it's made by Nodrog Farms. It says, raising alpacas for luxurious alpaca products. And it is so soft. It's made from actual like alpaca wool. Look at the detail. Look at his little belt. And this so cute. They had a bunch of different um, superheroes. They had Thor. They had Batman, which I thought was really cute too. They had they had Captain Marvel with her. Um, she even had like a little ponytail sticking out. Ugh. But I love Thor. As you can see, I have a little Thor hammer necklace that I usually wear when I go out. Adorable. Next, I bought something that I saw for my mom. 
so I can check my mom off. Well, I told you guys that I was making her that, um, that shawl. But I have a Christmas gift that I need for her, and her birthday is December 29th, one after the other. So I'm making her a shawl, and I bought this little guy. It was a little felted gnome, and it has sheep wool for his hair. How freaking cute is that? I was losing my mind in there over these felted figurines. There's just, they're adorable. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> my mom loves gnomes. I hope she likes it. He's so cute. Changing your angle here a little bit just because it seemed like it was a little dark on the on the other side. Um hoping this is a little better even though now I need some shades. <laughs> um so yeah, I showed you the alpaca and the gnome and now I can show you the rest of the stuff I believe is all yarn. So I got these. Look at these. They're beautiful. <laughs> so both of both of these colors, these three skeins, um are from these aren't skeins. These are Hanks. I should know my uh, yarn terminology, right? But they are from CC's Wool. They are 100% superwash merino. And they are fingering weight. This one is plum fruits. I got one hank of this. I hope I'm, I'm just gonna call them skeins. All right, you know what I mean. I got one skein of this color. They had a shawl on display in crochet, which I appreciate crochet at these events because most of the stuff is knit and I don't knit. So seeing crochet lets me appreciate the wool and the, the yarn the way I will be using it. So they had a shawl that was crocheted with this and it only used one skein of this beautiful plum fruit color and it it's so soft and squishy and the pattern i took a picture of the little tag that was on the shawl because it has the website or it's on ravelry but it has the creator of the pattern so i will be buying that and making one of those and i also wanted to make it in this beautiful burgundy color now these i don't have the colorway for these just because they were in a discount bin so I got two for the price of one. Oh, and each of these was it was $24 but the ones in the bin were buy one get one free so each of these was $12 which is pretty good for hand dyed wool yarn um, they're 4 ounces and 560 yards each next up so there was this booth that's called Shirsty Cat Designs and I have to say out of all the booths I saw and all the yarn they had well there was another one but this one had one of the best dyes I had seen in the entire show floor so I've been very into skeins that have multiple colors in it variegated yarn um, and they had such beautiful beautiful mixtures so this one is called Smaug or smog now I don't know if they necessarily meant it from the movie The Hobbit but that's what it reminded me of and I love The Hobbit and I'm assuming it is because the dragon who was named Smaug in The Hobbit is this burgundy color with some like gold flecks when the light hits his scales <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna make with this but I got two of, th of these guys they are, let's see, she called it BFL DK, and let's see, they are, uh, where is that, where is it, I want to say it's 100%, they're 100% wool, and it's by Kelly Strobe, comes with 246 yards, 100 grams. And each of these were 
$30. Yes, I never buy expensive yarn, even when I go to Hobby Lobby. Um, I only buy when they're on sale. <laughs> But these are wool and they're so soft and just a whole experience of walking around and getting to touch all these yarns and just seeing all these colors and fully appreciating the hard work that people put into dyeing and spinning yarns and making their own labels and labeling them. And it's worth it. I feel it's worth it. Hold on one second. This one doesn't have a tag. And I really want to include the names for everything. And I'm going to be putting the names of all the sellers that I bought from in the description. I don't know if they have Etsy's or Ravelry's or websites, but you can check them out if you would like. So this was a clearance at one of the booths. It was only $5. I have no idea how much it comes with, but it did say it was a mixture of silk and um, wool. I believe it was silk and wool. But it's soft. I loved the pink and grays in here, as you can see. And I thought this would be really cute to make something for my daughter. It's nice, soft, little girl colors on there. Don't know what I'll make. Maybe a hat, maybe a little scarf. I have to see how it works up to see if it's too itchy because as a toddler, she's not gonna tolerate itchy for fashion. <laughs> Another one that was in a clearance bin. This one was $10. It is this beautiful emerald green mixture. Oh, with the holidays, as soon as I saw this green, I knew I had to have it. So my thought is, since some of these are small um, skeins, I thought I would use these more as accents in pieces. So I am planning on seeing what I have at home in my giant stash of yarn um, and matching it up with a color in here. Like this has tiny blue flecks in there. I don't know if you can see them, uh, but you can see like right there. See these little, little blue flecks. So if I, oh, here is a, there's a big blue spot right there, see it? So I figure if I make a beanie or a scarf with a blue that matches the blue that's on here, I can use this as accents for the edging or do part blue, part green, maybe make a beanie and the folding brim can be this green color or the top could be green and then the bottom can be blue, whichever. But that way I could have all of these beautiful yarns more as an accent on my pieces rather than a full piece made with these. So this one is from Ancient Threads Farm. It is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. It was $10. There's a little red sticker there, mint clearance. And it comes with 463 yards, 100 grams. And it's a fingering weight yarn. Next. We have this bad boy here. So, I bought a bunch of more feminine colors in the rest of the yarns. I saw this one and I thought this one is a little more masculine and I wanted to make sure I had some masculine colors in my stash for the holidays. It was $15. It's super wash fine merino, hand dyed, fingering weight and 380 yards or four ounces and i thought these colors were really really nice look at that look at it look at it mm -hmm. yep appreciate it in all of its glory i probably should have bought more from this seller 15 dollars for this much and it's really nice I don't know. Maybe I will go back in. I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't go back in. I shouldn't go. <laughs> I don't want to. And they gave me their little card. It's by... Let's see... Yarn Hig. Hand dyed yarns and leases knitting patterns. Yarn Hig. I don't know. I might go back in and buy something from them. Just because now that I'm looking at this out in the light, so pretty 
is so pretty. Oh, and the uh, colorway is that word that in my other videos I have probably said wrong. But I'll let you guys just uh, read it there. <laughs> it's getting a little windy. I hope there's not too much wind sound in the video. This one. So in my last video, well not my last video, but the video that I had from Rhinebeck, I had bought that Nightmare Before Christmas craft bag, project bag. And that same seller was here again. Ooh, there goes the sun. It is abnormally hot for this time of year. It's November 5th, and right now it's 75 degrees out. In Massachusetts, at least, where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, so that seller that made the Nightmare Before, Nightmare Before Christmas bag has yarn here. And I bought a skein from her. Look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. I absolutely love this yarn. I love it. She didn't have a name for it, and she asked, what do you think I should name it? And I went blank. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, I don't know, but it's beautiful. <laughs> um, so this is June Price Fiber Arts, and she does have an Etsy shop. Facebook and an email and I will be putting all of this information like I said in the description and I believe the last thing I have to show you guys which is the first thing that I bought this beauty right here this is DK weights fiber is a hundred percent superwash merino uh, it's 200 yards and the colorway is spooktacular. I know Halloween is done and like I said it's my favorite holiday. When I saw these colors I was automatically drawn to it and then when I read the name I understood why I was drawn to it because this is Halloween in a skein. I bought two of them. Again I have no idea what I'm gonna make with these but I could not leave without yarn. I feel like last time I didn't buy too much yarn, this time I wanted to make sure I had a variety of different types of yarn that I cannot get at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's. But look at those colors. Yep. Beautiful. It's by Allegheny Fiber Arts in Bradford, PA. So, that's it for my stash. Um, let's see. Alright, so, okay. Uh, I'll have to look at these two cards, probably go to their websites and see what they have. So I have two cards in my bag that don't go with anything that I purchased. So that one skein that I can't figure out has to be one of these. I'll let you guys know. Other than that, that's it. I will sit here enjoying this beautiful, beautiful, uncommon fall weather for November. And I will contemplate going back in for more yarn. So, I went back in. <laughs> but, I went back in and I only spent 30 more dollars on, I looked it up to Hanks. <laughs> I went back to um, the one seller where I bought the more masculine colored Hank because after looking at it, after looking at it outside in the daylight, the colors on their Hanks are so vibrant and rich. I just had to go in there and get the other two that I was looking at from their booth. So I went back in and I bought this one here. This one is, again, it's a uh, super wash fine merino. It is 380 yards. Um, let's see. Fingering weight. Same as the other one. I got them from the same bin. They're just different colorways. The other one was pewter. This one is stone. Lucky. Oh my gosh. Just looking at it now again, I want to go back and buy more, but I can't. I'm broke. That's it. I've passed my allowance for this trip. And 
and I got this one which is a beautiful jewel toned hank I only got one of each I was looking up some nice shawls that you can make one hank shawls that take a little less than what each of these hanks come with look at that and I love the way the yarn looks you can see how it's wound together oh my gosh the seller had my favorite yarns after coming out and looking at it in the sunlight the light in that building does not do the yarn justice I feel like if they had a lot more lighting they'd probably get a lot more sales they did have a like a photo light in the middle but it's not it's definitely not bright enough <sighs> all right I think I'm done there is the Webb's yarn store that's about I think I looked it up it's about 25 minutes north of here which would be adding a little time to my trip um, but I figure maybe I'll stop by anyway because when am I gonna come back up here for that store we'll see I'm gonna turn on the car drink some of my coffee from this morning it's still about half full I got the extra big cup to take me here and back home and I'll see if I stop by at that store. But if I stop there, I'm going to buy more yarn. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't. My husband's going to kill me. <laughs> ah! Alright, we'll see. I'll be right back. So, I did end up going to that yarn store, uh, Webb's, in Massachusetts. I did not buy any yarn. I think I already have enough yarn from the festival. Um, but I did buy, I forget the brand name and I can't check right now because I'm on the road stuck in a traffic jam. Um, I did buy like the conditioner that you soak your projects in once they're done. I figured spending so much money on this fancy wool yarn, it deserves a nice soak. Um, and it's got a beautiful lavender scent. But uh, I figure I'd just do my outro now. So by the time I get home, it's gonna be late, it's gonna be dark. But thanks for joining me on the trip to the Fiber Festival in Massachusetts. And I will see you guys next video.